Now with that, I'd like to start with our first guest. Uh, we have Chief John Hawkins. He's the Riverside County Fire Chief. Over 44 years of uh, service in the fire service, Cal Fire. It's our pleasure to bring up John Hawkins. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. Supervisor Buster, members or future members of the uh, Willamar Council, all the people who have helped to make this happen, and of course the pastor from the Cornerstone Church for allowing us to come to this wonderful facility on a terrible day. I need to uh, start my computer. This is this is not the difficulty you will have with City Hood is creating that nexus between getting these PowerPoint projectors to work. So I'm going to give the signal to the control room, and the control room should bring it up. Now I'm going to go through this program, and I'd ask you to hold any questions until we finish, and then I'll be glad to uh, field questions as long as the uh, uh, facilitator says that questions are okay. Riverside County Fire is a cooperative venture with the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection called Cal Fire. I want you to all understand that. And we have certain benefits of this fire department. If I didn't go through, there's only 17 slides, so don't worry, there's not a lot. It'll only take me 10 or 12 minutes. But I want you to reflect on what, what we're saying here. Our service, as we know it today, is an integrated, cooperative, regional fire protection system. And the system is only as good as the components we'll talk about. We, the Riverside County Fire Department, currently protect 16 of the 24 cities in Riverside County. We also would know Community Services District. We dispatch for two tribal fire departments and the Idaho Fire Protection District. Additionally, we protect the state's interest in the brush areas and also, of course, the county unincorporated area. Within Riverside County Fire is the County Office of Emergency Services. So with the fire department, you get all the, all the components of emergency services, which I'll talk about. And that's not response to emergency. Emergency services is disaster management. Working with CAL FIRE. CAL FIRE has the benefits of, again, an integrated system. With CAL FIRE, the local city does not have to do their own labor negotiations or labor grievance settlements or whatever. That's all handled by the parent company. Economies of scale play in the value of working with Cal Fire and Riverside County Fire. We're also a full-service fire department, and of course the cities that currently contract with the county of the 16, they contract with the county. The county has one master contract for fire protection with Cal Fire. Some of the, some of the benefits of Cal Fire are, Cal Fire's been doing this since the 40s, there are currently 147 cooperative agreements throughout California, and you can see in 35 of California's 58 counties, 25 cities, 31 fire districts, etc. With CAL FIRE, local governments are able to utilize diversity and experience uh, through their contracts and agreements with the department. And one of the things that I want to uh, relieve in your mind before we go any further, but it will be included as slides a couple of times, you do not lose local control with CAL FIRE. The cities still run their city department through Riverside County and CAL FIRE. The County Office of Emergency Services is disaster management, and it takes care of the extremely important functions of disaster mitigation, prevention, response, and recovery, plus all of our grants work to help the fire department and OES be what we are today. At this moment, County OES is on standby mode. The, the EOC Emergency <coughs> Operating Center in Riverside is on a standby mode because of this storm. If it becomes worse, then we go to a full alert mode. Riverside County Fire. The fire department has five values. And I hit these in almost every meeting that I attend, regardless if I'm here talking before this Willamar Corporate Now group or whatever. Our five values that every firefighter that works for us knows are number one, leadership. We, we expect our people to be leaders in everything they do. Hang their head high and take care of what needs to be done. 
We also expect him to be competent. 81% of our calls, emergency calls, are pre-hospital medical emergencies, heart attacks, strokes, cuts, falls, traffic collisions, etc. When we have one of our paramedics or EMTs come to your house, we expect you won't have an 80% passing EMT. The person who works on you or your next of kin, we expect them to be as close to 100% proficient as possible. Integrity is one of our values. Integrity means honesty. That means when we go to someone's house if the door is locked, but we have a report of a medical emergency there, we can force the door. We will force the door. We can go in and to check out the victim who may, might be lying on the floor, we can strip them and determine a secondary medical survey of what's right or wrong with them. And lastly, and, and heaven forbid that doesn't happen in Wildemar, but if we go into a drug lord's house and there's 500 $1,000 bills on the floor, we're not going to take a one of them. We're not going to take a one of them because we have to be honest. Our fourth value is safety. Our job is very dangerous, whether it's at a fire or whether it's a medical emergency where we can get a needle stick or whatever that might be or entail. And our last value is customer service. And it simply reduces to two things we tell all of our firefighters. Be nice. No matter how bad the situation is, be nice. Because you see, when you have an emergency and you push 911, your whole life has changed. It has changed for a long time. Maybe one of your next of kin is on the floor. Maybe not to recover. <coughs> excuse me. It's our... <coughs> Please excuse me. It's our responsibility when we're there to not only comfort and take care of the victim that we're working on the floor, but also to take care of the next of kin. These are our primary services. Fire response is 16, 15, 16 percent. Uh, medical response, 81 percent, countywide. Hazmat response, we have two fully staffed five-person hazmat teams. One in Winchester at our station 34, one in North Bermuda Dunes at station 81. We have a technical rescue program, and of course we provide life safety and fire prevention. Our response standards, these are the county's response standards. You, as a future city, can adopt any standard you wish. These are the standards for the county. Heavy urban is a five-minute response standard. Urban is seven minutes. Rural is 10 minutes. And outlying is 15 minutes. These are our response standards based on the density of an area and based on the load, the commercial, etc. This is what we base our response on. However, again, to repeat that, and for the council, the choice is yours at the time of incorporation, what standard you might adopt, whether it be the county standard or something different. Many of our contract cities adopt a five-minute or a seven-minute standard. Wildemar is currently an urban response level with some rural, out, rural I can't say outline, some rural uh, designation. But you could choose anything you want. We've already discussed that. That's what local control of Supervisor Buster is all about. And what Supervisor Buster... In fact, I asked Supervisor Buster three or four months ago, Sir, what position do you want the fire department to take on this? He says, I want this to be the will of the people, quote. 